Hey, my Taurus babies. I know y'all like, what is wrong with this lady? How come she cannot get her shit together? Well, I did your reading early Sunday. I sure did. But I didn't get it off the phone in time. And so while I was in conversation with dear said cousin, <clears throat> my phone decided to take a dip in the dishwasher, right over there, right in the dishwater, got in it, stayed in it, and yeah. Hot, funky, fresh mess. However, I have a new phone. Dun, 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 dun. Um, this will be my actual first video on this phone. Um, let's see, let me know if you're having problems with sound or the picture don't look right or some other bullshit. This is new. Some new shit. Um, but in a strange kind of way, I'm actually glad that, uh, cause Sunday's reading was tight. It was tight. I don't remember what fell on the board, but I remember, uh, it's a tower, I think, that was coming this Thursday that popped up, um, there was some heavy duty, I think the hangman, wheel of fortune, there was some heavy duty shit on the board, but it was all to the good. But uh, there's some details I think that we will get this evening that I wouldn't have gotten or picked up <laughs> Sunday. There you go. So we are going to roll tomorrow, July 14th. And I did that reading to the 21st, so I'm going to do this one to the 21st. Um, and then we'll pick up on the weekend energy later on this week. But, uh, recognition and reward. There uh, is some energy changing. Um, you know, some of y'all may have had a high damn it moment over the weekend. It just did your thing and maybe... Shock people? They thought you was going to do so. this, And this is the purpose of Uranus being in our sign. To kind of pull us out of our little happy comfort zone. And um, get us into situations. Even giving other people, you know, pause about what the hell. People get used to you. My grandmother used to say, uh, familiarity breeds complacency. People get too familiar with you, they get complacent because they expect the same thing out of you over and over again. When you start switching shit up on people, that's when they take a step back and realize you're not anybody to be played with. So, I like, I kind of like the energy. It's got two sides to it. It's got a soft side and it's got a book the best harsh side. So just be mindful of that as we go through this. But I kind of like the energy because uh, it's that daredevil energy to me. And I, I don't, I'm about that shit. I'm about driving on the Autobahn with no speed limit. Yes, sir. Let's see what, we at, what else we got coming up here. We need cards, universe. Help me out here. Cards. Oh, there we go. That came up on Sunday, I believe it did, but it was in one of the days, so now it has changed to the challenge. I kind of like shuffling them out better, because it seems like the cards paint a little more accurate picture than just what I've shuffled, how they, how they happen to come out or whatever, but... Yeah. Did we have that? No, I don't think we had movement, movement choices and decisions. Stand your ground, didn't come up either. That energy was there, though. I think the Emperor came out. That was what used to be my challenge card, the center card. Um. Manifestation, okay. Happy ending, okay. Some doorways being opened here, it feels like. Okay. 
that is truly what it feels like. Some doorways being opened. Some doors closing, too. Material harvest. Oh, shit, now. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Heartache and loss is not resonating. It's uh, and I'm saying that to say it's not what you think. Not what you think at all. Some changes coming. These are rather abrupt too. Okay, I can't take everything. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, do we? You might as well done drop Thursday on the damn table, so you might as well take it. There you go. So today is 13th, Tuesday the 13th, so we're rolling 14 through 21. Uh, it's a full complement of days. So actually, we're rolling through May. Next Thursday? Yeah, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so we rolling through through uh, next Thursday. I'm gonna throw nine of them down here. So we'll just fuck it, just do it, just do it. I think the weekend read went out to tomorrow anyway. So if you want to see if there are any similarities to the energy from the weekend update to now. Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's somebody coming, Taurus. For some of you, you, you met them, but some of there's somebody coming. This is new energy. Yeah. We got some people coming, uh, even from either your current social or romantic experience or maybe your past, maybe an ex or a cousin of an ex or a sister or a brother of an ex telling you the real deal, giving you the real juice. But ultimately it's going to help you make some, it's going to help move you forward. Let me get the rest of the cards out before I start running my damn mouth. Get ahead of myself. I hope y'all are good. I hope all my buddies, y'all know who you are. <laughs> I hope y'all doing good. So anyway, if you, which many of you do, y'all don't know this. You got my phone number. Send me a text message because I mean they were talking something strange. Like it's gonna take us six hours. I can't be hanging around. You gotta walk around for two days with no damn phone. And you want me to wait how long? Y'all got me fucked up. So I did not transfer my data, and for the most part, I have most of what I need back. It's just my phone contacts right now. Um, so if you listen and you know me, send me a text message so I can put your phone up and back in my phone. There's people around you, Taurus. Okay, this got fucking feet. God damn it. Sunday's reading did too. Um, people around you that are lying. Let's start that part first. I'm going to say this again. And I said it Sunday. And I know I've said it some other times. Move forward. There's something rankling about moving backwards. It's just, it may seem like it's okay, and da, 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 but long term for you, mental health wise, emotionally, it is not going backwards on anything. Let me, let me clarify that and say going backwards on anything that had any kind of toxic feeling to it or that just was shitty from beginning to end. Don't go back. Don't go, even, even if the person has changed. Well, yeah, you know me, I'm love it, don't change this damn spot, so I don't know what the fuck you thought. But, that said, even if they have changed, 
Um, they're jealous is what I hear. They're jealous of you because you are able to at least present um, you, you're able to present like everything is good all the time even when shit is yappy doodle and shit Gave me too many cards, universe, for real. I'm going to take these two, though. So, the Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands popped out here. Just, I guess, they didn't have nothing else better to do. So, they popped out. Um, making moves. There's that phoenix coming out of the ashes. Um, and the choices and regrets. So this has got a hint of the past kind of on it. But... <clears throat> Even if the person has said they've changed, there's there's jealousy there, and it may not be directly from that person. If you dated somebody and were close to their their siblings or their parents or extended family, um, it might be one of them, you know, because they're looking at you and going, "Well, damn, how you able to bounce back like that, like a damn basketball? How the hell?" And in this energy that we are in currently. Um, that's where I put them. I didn't have my challenge cards up there. And that's exactly where they go. Uh, some of you may have been engaged recently and called it off. You may have been engaged for a minute and, you know, after a minute you saw where shit was headed or where it was going, whatever. <laughs> you got some scissors and went, hell no. No, thank you. Have a good day. And so, um, while people, it feels like, and this obviously is for a very select, specific few of you, um, they thought that you weren't going to be able to bounce back. And maybe even you thought you weren't going to be able to bounce back. But the way that the energy is flowing right now, and I say this from another perspective, you know, that, that we as human beings with clocks is shit believe that the universe is supposed to be working on our dime and not its own and the universe don't give a fuck and so we have this thing you know in our society where it's this unspoken rule you know after you break up with somebody you can't date anybody right away you gotta heal you gotta do this you gotta do that all these people trying to put constraints on the universe as far as time is concerned can go ahead because again, the universe works for the good of everybody, not just you, not just them. It works for the good of everybody. Ultimately, the universe works to its own good because in this divine, infinite wisdom, which one will tell you, and uh, fuck, don't believe me, go look at the flowers outside and how they grow and how they know when it's getting ready to get cold. Trees, the same thing. Animals. You know, that don't have all this, these hangups that we put around things. And you will see, nature ain't no fucking joke. Shit's on, on schedule, on point, and nobody is looking at watch the one. So, some of you may have gotten out of a situation and were door, as soon as one closed, another one opened right up and you started a new relationship, maybe even to your own consternation. Let's just put that part out there like, damn, I maybe I should have waited a week or two. And life happens like that. And now that we are in a real big energy shift and a lot of people moving up in levels of consciousness, things are just happening. The veil is thin and shit is happening fast. So you may have gotten into something with somebody new and the old folks are going, ha, ha, she must be seeing him all the time. You know, I told you she wasn't right. That kind of energy. And so, didn't have nothing to do with nothing nobody's talking about. And if you were partnered uh, with somebody that knew what was being said, they're going, that ain't right. That ain't true. But y'all are the only two that really know why you broke up. And so now you may be going, well, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I could. It's not. I, I'm saying all of that to say, move forward. Move forward. 
um, the growth comes in not knowing. That's what, and I, I'm saying that I can't even believe I'm saying that shit because that is so not me. But the growth comes in not knowing, and it's not uh, the lesson I think the universe is trying to kick out to a lot of people, me included. Not knowing doesn't or shouldn't give you a sense of foreboding about something because you don't know it's bad. A lot of situations in our life would be better if we hadn't known so much about them in the first damn place. Going back to old boyfriends, going back to old clubs, going back to old old places you used to hang out. You know, you get into some shit dealing with people from your past because you got past with them. Come on. And you end up in a big fat mess. Okay. I'm the future. But that that is the energy that is at play here for some of you and then little stories can be for just a handful of you. But that's what's going on. Go forward, Taurus. Go forward. Uh, whatever you think is behind you, I promise there is something ten times greater in front of you. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. It doesn't mean that person is not coming. That job is not coming. It's coming. Uh, and I'm looking now. I'm looking at it on the board. So you know, damn, what I'm talking about. Let's talk to the cards. Overall energy: the Page of Pentacles on top of the recognition and reward. Um, there's some, and as I'm saying this, there's some fresh energy around some of you, and you're recognizing this. Like, woo. again, you might not be able to pinpoint exactly what it is, but it is definitely there. And money is involved one way or the other. If it's a job, it's more money. If it's a person, it's it's a generous person with their money. But this is in your overall energy at the, at the top end. On the back end, I got the Six of Pentacles on top of the I have. Um, and many of you have been working on what you have, the material aspects. But some of you may be getting ready to kick in. To, to, I, the feeling here is that some of you have already been grinding down overtime, second jobs, and not necessarily at, at the, the cafe down the street, but doing other things, helping people do other things and making money. Um, that That's getting ready for some of you to, to get kicked up. Others of you that haven't felt this, it's coming. You might be in that second wave. And you... Okay, I'm sorry, Taurus, I got an Amber Alert. They just shut my whole phone down like, um, and and good it does. People need to be on the lookout. Strange shit going on out here. At any rate, the back end. Money. Money. And you may be looking at what you have and how far you might be away from a, a goal that you're trying to achieve or some other aspect. But there's money. And if it's not in your face right now, it's coming. One way or the other. Either through job or someone you're dealing with romantically it's not a social thing I don't feel a social connection here so that's what's sitting up um, actually that's, that's the energy in your gut but that's what's popping out from that energy and it's new I'm going to just make note of that. You see, he ain't no old dude with no cane. They ain't looking like a hermit with a beard down to his knees. This, this is the baby boy right here. So this is fresh, new energy. Your challenge here is gratefulness. Being grateful for what you have and being thankful for what's on the way. Hello. And not getting caught up in regrets and understanding that you, you're coming up out the ashes. And, and many Tauruses, not necessarily saying anything bad happened to you, but nothing good has been happening either. Let's talk about that part. You ain't really had, you know, ain't nobody kicked you in the head. You ain't had to go to jail. You know, you ain't had no knockdown, drag out, break up with somebody. But things that haven't been on the other side of that haven't been pretty either. It hasn't been all excitement and Hollywood rock and roll type shit. And so this shift in energy, there's that recognition and reward, is going to put the spotlight on those areas where you've been struggling, where you haven't, you know, really had no big, bad 
love affair with nobody, but you ain't had no great one either. Let's get ready to change. Let's straight up get ready to change. Um, looking at tomorrow's energy with the King of Swords sitting on top of the movement choices and decisions. This is the universe's heads up to you to get that structure and framework firmly implanted in your head. Many of you may be going through social media, dating websites, whatever, um, and you're just kind of loosey-goosey with the boundaries. Time to start tightening that shit up. Time to start tightening that shit up because the universe is not going to give you what you're not ready for. Hello. So if you don't have, you're not clear on what you want, the universe is not going to be clear on what you get. That part. So, and we got the front side of him. So, um, for some of you, this is about justice, karma coming back to you for putting up with a bunch of bullshit. Now, this is that group that has had to knock down, drag out. Oh, my God. And then he left me at the mall. And I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is for this group. Yeah. It's coming. Now, the back probably here. Um, all of this is going to, if you've been walking around in the fog lately, like, what the fuck, like, dear me, with my phone, skydiving and committing suicide in the dishwater, come on, <laughs> just in a funk and a fog, fog is getting ready to lift up a little bit, getting ready to get a bit of a reprieve from all of that, and, you know, believe me, there's the back of the king, all uh, that foggy wind blowing trees and shit. Get ready to clear that right up. Get ready to clear that right up. Um, get, get your boundaries together and start making some choices. And even if you're if it's about a job, start getting that, start narrowing your focus. If it's about love, start bringing it down. Do you want somebody that lives next door? Do you want somebody that lives far away? Um, whatever that is, short, tall, you know, what exactly is it? Start putting some, some, some shading in there and giving it some depth. Just to say, oh, I want a love affair. Yeah, well, what kind? With who? Or with whom? Short term, long term, it's all kind of, you can style this out any way you want to. So the universe <laughs> is getting ready to pull the cake out the oven. And it's asking you what kind of icing. Now, if you leave it to the universe, you might have some chocolate icing with some peanut butter cake and something crazy on the inside. Or you might just get a plain white cake and <laughs> no icing. I'm just saying, if you leave it up to the universe... You got to be clear, and I know sometimes that gets daunting, but just take your time through the energy. You may have to, um, as the back of this card says, detach from situations emotionally a bit so you can see things just a bit clearer, but yeah, get the boundaries in place and move with choices and decisions, and that, that's where we are right now. Thursday's energy, the star card on, on top of the stand, your ground. Um, your, things, your goals that you're trying to meet, the things that you want are going to happen when you stand up for you and when you start putting yourself out there. You know, if you do hair, but you ain't done nobody's hair in your neighborhood, in neighborhood or you ain't done hair in a while, you, you what you doing? I'm just saying. So you got to put yourself out there. Um, this is not so much the neg negative negative energy, I don't want to say negative, but the, the, the harsh part of stand your ground. Um, this is more about finding your piece of ground and standing on it and letting people, hanging the shingle out there and letting them know, I do hair. If you don't tell it, they don't know. That part. These are two very strong cards. Um, the energy is palpable, to say the least. Um, I'm not going to tie signs up in this, but that is Aquarius, um, and there's some Pisces there as well. So you could be dealing with somebody with one of those signs somewhere in their chart, if not their sun sign. Um, by putting yourself out there, this is how you attract 
start attracting better quality. If you trying to hide behind a bush, you're going to attract some of any and everybody. Because, you know, they're trying to figure out why you're behind the bush. What are you hiding? So I'm just putting that out there. The Three of Cups on top of the manifestation. Um, there's an offer coming. This literal version of that Three of Cups in this deck. There's an offer coming. And this is pretty much what you've been trying to manifest. And that this is energy coming right behind the star card. Definitely your hopes, wishes, and dreams. You, you are well on that path. And this has got a lot of feet to it. Some of you may begin to see the glimmers. Others of you may actually get into some situations related to what you want. And some of you may just be flat blown over that you've manifested so much in such a short time. But that's a good thing. This is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, cheery. This is cheery. That's the best word I know, cheery. Don't be laughing at me. But look at all that yellow. Look at this just bling, 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 bling. But this is about the completion of something. Um, and then this funny. Did I say Saturday? Yes, yeah, it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So... Little tidbit. I, I had no idea these cards were going to drop, so don't act like I'm Miss Cleo or somebody. Ah, call me now. No, not that. Um, I'm on a, a project at work, and Saturday will be the last day. How funny. It'll be last day. Uh, for the rest of the world, you got a happy ending, something coming to a completion, but it's not done there. And so if you look at these two cards like that, whatever's being completed, we're going to start something brand new on top of it. How about that? And doesn't that just look so nice? You wouldn't even know they were two different cards. But that's what's happening. That's what's happening. Um, so for those of you that are on projects, this is a job well done that you got the recognition and reward card up there up top uh, that's kind of highlighting this energy down here. But it's definitely going to lead to something bigger, better. And some of you may be moving. And if you're not moving from city to city, you may be moving from building to building. We do got a box right here. So, um, let me see. Let's see something else. I don't know what that is. A tree? A vine? It may well be a vine, this little green piece down here, maybe wrapping around the back end of that. I'm not sure. But the energy that comes back is um, the beginning of a long-term cycle in terms of your money, your career, um, business, entrepreneurship, any of that. Sunday's energy with the Knight of Cups sitting on top of the rest to rejuvenate. Um, Somebody will be coming towards you. And this is, you could get a lot of different things, a lot of different situations and people coming at you. Um, but whatever they're coming with, they're dedicated. And this is long-term commitment type shit. Um, that it's cups, I must say there's some emotional things that go along with this. So, rest and rejuvenate while you can. When daylight hits, it's on and popping. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This this side of the card talks about falling in love and more dedication. So, just know that part. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Temperance on top of the material harvest. Um, staying in balance. Another major card on the board. This is one of three major cards on the board Sundays have five I think um, I hate that I that, oh, y'all don't know how that hurt me but anyway um, you've got balance but now this is looking outward and looking at people that have looking at people that you want to deal with and looking at how much balance they have you yourself don't want to end up here like oh Jesus I'm so out of whack. You want to stay here. 
So this is really, 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 really strong energy of you paying attention to the people you're inviting into your experience now. Because there's a lot of new faces coming. Um, and looking before you get too close, looking at the amount of balance they have in their life. You know, are all they doing going home, coming to work, not doing nothing else. They at the club every weekend. They don't golf or play pool or go to the library or a group chat or something. All they do is just drink and golf. Look at that. That's Those are indicators of what's coming. Just saying. All of that leads to material harvest. So you're dealing with people that are imbalanced, obviously materially, they're probably balanced there too. So for those of my bullies that are not quite the, the financial scholar that everybody thinks that we are, <laughs> about meeting like-minded people or, or better-minded people um, because this is all about you doing better. This is major energy. So pay attention to who's in your experience and how much balance they have in their own personal situation. And then Tuesday, heartache and loss, the Ace of Wands. This is about walking away. Can I do it like I did the other card? Yeah, this is about walking away from the heartache and loss. And being able to start on, an, on a new track, that Ace of Wands. And so you see how nice and said thanks? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. It just kind of fades to black. And that's what this is about. That's definitely what this is about. Some of you may have some new suitors on the scene. Uh, some of you may be taking things maybe a little bit more to the next level with new suitors you've already met recently. However, that's resonating with you, which then just slides us into Tuesday's energy. It's fucking Ace of Cups. It's clarity and love. See how bright that is? All that clear? I guess if I want to do this like this, I could too. Relation, didn't I just say? Relationship changes. Going up another level. Wherever you are, going up the next level. At the end of all of this next Thursday, um, you're going to have a change of perspective with this hangman about all the, the bad shit you've been going through. And so usually what happens is when you get when you get in the car, you got new tires, you done fixed the blowout, <laughs> and now you're up the road a piece, and you start thinking, you know, that blowout wasn't really that bad. I had a chance to do some thinking. Or I had a chance to grow. Or I had a chance to go to school while all that shit was going on. I'm just saying. That's usually what happens when you start getting into good energy. And you ain't tripping. You ain't stressing. You ain't on shit. You just doing in the flow, as they say. And you start thinking back. You know, the bad shit maybe wasn't quite that bad. And I did learn something. Come on. <laughs> in all the middle of that chaos and bullshit. That's the energy for next Thursday. Um, there will be, by the time we get to next Thursday, there'll be another shift in the energy. Um, this is where you've been hearing people talking about the ups and downs of July. This is where you get into that, that tricky, tricky water. Things happening fast, but things changing faster. Um, and it's not bad, but it's just the when you're not ready for things or when things just are surprised, which is good. Again, not knowing is about growth, being able to just go with it. Um, it can be tricky energy. Damn, you're telling a story, ain't you? Do you really want to do that? Think twice before you do. Um, this is for, that's this, and I guess y'all need to hear this, because that's for the, you people that are dealing with people that are jealous around you. If, you talk, if you're thinking about, I'm going to just put it out there, if you're thinking about doing an ex in the middle of all this Neptune, Plutonian, foggy ass energy, think twice before you do. Just think twice. You know, all the pain and heartache, and yes, people can change and all the rest of that shit, but at the end of the day, Think twice. 
think twice. You're still going back into an old situation. Um, maybe everybody is not as healed, including you, Taurus, as you may think you are. Maybe there's, there's enough shit going on where you unhealed what you just healed. So, I'm just throwing that out there. Don't answer the phone. Two cards. Just about see what they got to say. Go on a real fucking date. Smell good and get your sexy on. Hello. Get hot and sweaty. Work out and grow old as fuck together. Take that how you need to. One more time, universe. One more time. Keep that shit to yourself. I love being criticized, said no one ever. So, energy here is to sharpen the, sharpen the horns, polish up the hooves a little bit, but don't use them. Your presence is going to be felt. There's that stand your ground energy. If you get out there, it will be felt. And people that are purposely trying to manipulate, provoke, do stupid shit, ignore them. Just fucking ignore them. Do that part. Taurus, I love you. I'm so sorry this was late. I'm really upset I lost my video, but I'm glad to be here tonight. I hope y'all have a good rest of the week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.